What's up YouTube fam? So today I'm getting pretty close to finishing up this big project I've been working on. It's pretty freaking awesome. So I just wanted to share it with you all. Check out these intake manifolds. These things are turning out pretty sick. So I'm about to pull the second from the last one off of this fixture here. So I just wanted to show you guys how I'm doing these. So we're bolting through the bottom side here. You can see I've got the bolt pattern for all of my previous operations in there as well. These holes are for the original block, these for the, were for the second operation on the, the lower runners, and these are for the current second operation on the upper runners. Now if you look close, the runners are not straight, they're at an angle. So actually in the first operation I had to get from both sides of this port. So this is after the first operation on these upper runners. And you can see the holes where I had bolted it to the fixture. So this is basically op one was prepping this material, drilling and tapping these holes. And so the block of material sat on the fixture like this. So I could get from both sides of the runner with my tools. And then I drilled and tapped out these holes a little bit bigger than the through bolt that goes through them. Uh, these are where the bolts go through. So it's actually tapped bigger down inside that hole. So I had something to bolt this part to the fixture with. And then this is how it's bolted to the fixture from underneath for the second operation. I did these lower runners the exact same way. They started out like this with material left underneath here bolted to the fixture so I could get to the runners from both directions because they also have an angle to them. And then I bolted them to the fixture like this so I could get rid of all the rest of this material here. And when bolted together, they look like that. Pretty cool to do on a fourth axis, guys. The other parts I have here are the plenum bases. So those go onto here like this with some O-rings. So there's the plenum bases on. The plenums will bolt to this with this O-ring groove here and through bolt holes through the back here. So all I have left to do on this manifold is the fuel rails, which I'll be making out of this extrusion, and the plenums themselves, which are big, hogged out chunks of billet. So I just wanted to show you guys those because I'm pretty proud of them. They're turning out pretty awesome. And I wanted to share with you guys my order of operations before I take off this final part and bolt up that last one and run it. I designed this entire manifold in Fusion 360 and did all the machine programming, all the cam in there as well. This is my first major four axis part in Fusion 360 and I think it's turning out pretty good. So let's get this last block of material bolted up in this machine and send it. All right guys, so I got this last part bolted up on the fixture. Let's send it. All right guys, I got that part running in the background. If you'd like to see any more detailed information about what I'm doing here, let me know down in the comments. But I have already done a little bit more in-depth video on doing four axis machining in Fusion 360. And you can click on it up here. So go watch that if you're interested. And don't forget to smash that like and subscribe button. Thanks for watching guys, we'll see you in the next video.